Hey guys, Chris Dearnett here for another edition of Strip Poker. Today I'm at the MGM Poker Room, one of the biggest rooms on the Strip at 22 tables. This place is legendary for its poker action, so let's go check it out. First of all, what cash games do they have to offer? They've got a regular 1 2 and 2 5 no limit hold'em, as well as a 2 4 limit hold'em, but they'll spread any game as long as there's interest, including a 5 10 on the weekend. Mike, give us a brief overview of what the MGM Poker Room is all about. Well, the MGM Poker Room is about the youth movement. What we have here today, we've probably got one of the youngest groups that play on a continual basis. Uh, our room features the 1 2 blind no limit and the 2 5 blind no limit. We've got a different vibe here because of the music next door, between the Centrifuge Bar next door where the girls dancing on the bars and uh, Studio 54. It's unmatched the vibe and it's unmatched when it comes to late evening play. What amenities can players expect when they play here? You can get just about everything you want. We have everything that can be offered. Everything from massages, table-side massages, table-side food service, and of course the drinks and the other amenities like everybody else has. Great, and are there room rates that players can take advantage of? Uh, what we have is we have uh, the basic four hours of play, and that's if four hours total coming from the room, so if there were two people or one people in the room, we give a $40 discount off the prevailing rack rate. Also, we're running specials right now for people that sign up and have our players club card. Uh, we send out emails with the specials where we have, like, for example, I believe this week we got rooms for as low as $69 a night. Wow. Yes, and also the room rates don't seem very hard to, to accomplish. Four hours between a couple people is... Yeah, that's, that's, that's little or nothing. Little or nothing. We also have the... Uh, we have tournaments twice daily. Monday, Monday through Friday, we have tournaments at 11.05 in the morning. And Sunday through Thursday at 7.05 in the evening. Now, these are smaller buy-in tournaments. But again, that seems to be our niche. You know, we're... We're not one of the big casinos. We're not looking for the high end. We're looking for people to come here and have fun. Okay. What's the structure in those tournaments? Uh, we start off uh, the, the morning the morning tournaments. It's a $65 buy-in. They get 2,000 in chips. Uh, the, the levels go up every 20 minutes. And it takes approximately, and they're designed to take approximately three, three and a half hours. The evening tournaments are similar. They're a little bit more. It's an $80 buy-in, but again, it's the half hour levels they start off with 3,000 in chips. And again, they're structured to last about three and a half hours. We want the people to have the, have the fun, get the joy of, of, of playing a tournament, but not burn up their whole day doing it. Now let's see what the players have to say. I've played a couple of other places, but I always come back here. And why is that? Uh, the room is clean, the dealers are friendly, and the dealers are professional, very professional. The game that I play, uh, small limit, uh, one and two, no limit, hold them. They give you, usually they'll spread at least eight, nine games a day. So you have a variety of uh, tables to go to. You have to be in the wrong game, the wrong table. Now, earlier you said the management was your favorite part. What do they do to make you as a player feel like this is the place you want to play? Well, they've uh, hired very competent dealers, uh, first off, and they're... Uh, they're just all very, very friendly. Um, to me, this is the nicest poker room in the city. Everyone's so friendly. Um, all the dealers are really nice. They have a good system. It's just such a very cool place to play. Um, also, it doesn't feel exactly like, you know, there's music around you. There's ambiance, good ambiance. So I think it's out of all the poker rooms I've been to in the city. It's the nicest one by far. This place has got everything you'd want in a poker room. And it's probably one of the best places to take a bad beat because if you do, well, go check out the Lions or... Do what I do and take a shot at the bar. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to tune in next time for Card Player TV Strip Poker. I'm Christy Arnett.